Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on deep and superficial perineal nerve. For superficial perineal nerve, it innervates the lateral compartment of leg, including perineus longus and brevis. For sensory, it innervates majority of skin on the dorsum of foot, excluding web space between hallux and second digit, where that area is innervated by the deep perineal nerve. Anterolateral distal one-third of leg innervated by superficial perineal nerve. For the nerve's course, it started from the bifurcation of the common perineal nerve, goes to the proximal neck of fibula, passes between perineal muscles and lateral side of extensor digitorum longus. It then gives off motor branches to perineus longus and brevis. Descend and only supplies sensory innervation to anterolateral of leg, pierces deep crural fascia, and terminates into the medial dorsal cutaneous nerve and intermedial dorsal cutaneous nerve. For its clinical conditions, superficial perineal nerve entrapment, ankle sprains and ankle twisting causing stretching of superficial perineal nerve, or compression where the nerve exits the deep fascia of the leg. Patients present with pain and paresthesia over dorsum of foot, or can be due to direct damage to the nerve, by fractures of the proximal fibula, or perforating injury to lateral leg. Patients present with loss of aversion due to motor to perineus longus and brevis injured, and loss of sensation over most of dorsal foot and anterolateral aspect of distal leg. Next we look at the deep perineal nerve. It supplies motor of leg and foot, including the tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, perineus tertius, extensor hallucis longus, and lateral terminal branch, which are the extensor digitorum brevis and extensor hallucis brevis. For sensory, it innervates the articular branch to the ankle joint, and its medial terminal branch innervates the first dorsal web space. For its course, it starts at the bifurcation of common perineal nerve between the fibula and upper part of the perineus longus, then passes deep to extensor digitorum longus along anterior surface of interosseous membrane. Runs initially lateral to the anterior tibial artery, but crosses over to run on the medial side by the time it reaches the ankle joint. Then the deep perineal nerve passes through the anterior tarsal tunnel, and terminates into the lateral terminal branch and medial terminal branch. For clinical conditions, damage to this nerve results in foot drop, which is the most common isolated mononeuropathy of the lower extremity. It can be due to systemic causes of injury, lower motor neuron disease, diabetes, ischemia, and inflammatory conditions. Or iatrogenic injuries like TKA or other surgical approach. And traumatic injuries. That's all for this video. Thank you.